Not exactly a barrel of laughs this year for the Super Bowl ads. Well, a lot of creativity and a few fell short, even depressing. Here's Dan DeRose with more. Ramona and Denise, uh, a lot of the times after the Super Bowl, the day after we hear this, who won and who lost when it comes to the Super Bowl ad? But we had to ask the experts, what do you know, how do you know if you won? Now that the white noise of the Super Bowl commercials is over, we went to Cleveland's Adcom Group, an ad agency, to ask, when do you know when an ad won or lost? You have buzz today. Does that mean you won? I'd, I'd, I'd say yes. I think from an objective standpoint of buzz and, and talking about your brand and your product, it's definitely a great way to do it. Lauren Shila says there was a definite trend this year of inspiration over humor, with I'm ads like Toyota's How Great I Am and, and the always like a girl campaign. To... Fight like a girl. Brands thought that they had a, a, a message to put out there, a movement, if you will, to get people talking. There was another trend of what Shyla calls dadvertising, like the Nissan with dad ad, and the Dove men's care real strength. <laughs> Feeling passionate about dads and, and their role and stuff, I think. In, in the lives of shaping American youth, I think it's it's important for certain things. But there are losers, according to Shyla, and among them are the nationwide insurance ads. One super serious. I couldn't grow up because I died from an accident. And the second, a funny commercial featuring Mindy Kaling and Matt Damon. Oh, excuse me. Just don't know how those are selling more insurance for them. Another loser? Sorry, Kim. Nothing personal. Actually, Kim Kardashian's spot got a ton of buzz, but it was a horrible flop in terms of the public. I think people are kardashian out. And another way that it wasn't a great year that we're going to show you that it wasn't a great year for commercials is because we did some voting. And take a look at this. The landslide winner, and this has never happened before, the Budweiser lost dog. 73% of the vote out of what we picked was our top 10. The next uh, biggest vote getter right down here, the Fiat Chrysler commercial. That's one with the little blue pill that made the Fiat blow up. Uh, but that just shows uh, mediocre, 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 good commercial. That's when you know that it was a bad year for Super Bowl commercials. Live at the Big Board, Dan Ross, 19 Action News.